I talked to them about uh, three things. The first is uh, regarding the program of the of the party. What is it that we want to do as a party now and in the coming period? I reminded him that the party has uh, two important documents. It has the political statement, which shows what it stands for, and it has basic rules which guides how we perform among ourselves in order to achieve those objectives that have been set in the first document. So I elaborated on that. The real or the first mission of a member of a party is to recruit people into the party. And the recruitment should not be just adding numbers. The recruitment should be persuading those you want to recruit about your objectives so that if they are convinced then they join you with a full knowledge of where you stand. If they don't then it is because they didn't like what you are talking about. And that also that a party, the objective of any party is to, to strive to get into government through elections. Because without being in the government, you cannot be able to implement your program. Also, we caution them that the political difference between the various political parties is not enmity or is not cutthroat different. It is a question of us uh, presenting different programs to the common person because each of us thinks that it will serve the people better than the other one. So it is a, a clash of programs, not a clash of personalities. So if you win the trust of the people, then you are given a big burden of responsibility in order to meet their expectation. If you don't, you congratulate the other one who won and work uh, for the next election so that you can, you can win. So that is uh, regarding how we conduct ourselves as a, as, a, as a party. The second issue is a question of implementation of the peace agreement in which we are a party to it. We explained that the agreement has five signatories to it. There is SPLMIG, SPLMIO, SUA, uh, other political parties abbreviated as OPP, and FDs. And the FDs have joined the SPLMIG, so the, the parties are left four. NDM is part of of SUA. So we should play our role within SUA uh, in order to see how best we can implement the peace agreement. And then as SUA, we also play the role of uh, bringing together the other parties uh, on the way of implementation. We say that human beings are not perfect. When the agreement was signed in 2018, there were issues that did not occur to the parties. So if new things came up, the parties should be able to have dialogue among them in order to resolve them. It should not be a dichotomy. The dichotomy of either we have elections in 2024 or if the prerequisites are not met, then there is no election. No, it is not that dichotomy. There must be room for dialogue and compromises because we also made compromises during the implementation. A number of compromises we made, which were not part of the agreement. So why not uh, towards the most important lap, the lap of election, that is the last lap in the implementation of the peace agreement. Uh, we told them that uh, NDM has made sacrifices 
NDM was central in the formation of SUA. But when the power was divided, they didn't get something commensurate with what they did. But despite that, we did not, we did not leave the agreement. So those who were saying that uh, the leader of the NDM has rebelled, how can he rebel on something? They played a big role in achieving it, in achieving the peace agreement. We are proud of that as NDM. It is not bragging, but we are reminding those who forget so easily that we played a big role in bringing about this peace agreement, and therefore we will uh, will continue to implement it. And you can't have the sheer person of a party rebelling, and these members are still in the government. We are members in National Assembly, Council of States. We have uh, members in the assemblies of all the states in South Sudan. We have ministers in these states. We have advisors. We have members of the, in the commission. So we are in the government. How can you rebel from your own government? So that, uh, that is not the... So we are saying that as NDM, we have a role to play to uh, close the gap of difference between the different uh, political groups. And uh, we see that we can play this role effectively and uh, see how we can go forward because for us to have an election, the atmosphere must be conducive for that election. So if we who are going to compete are not uh, talking to each other, then the, the prospects of a peaceful and uh, orderly election could be compromised. So we are saying that this is what we should, uh, we should play. The third message was about the regional and international situation. South Sudan is not an island. It, it, uh, is, uh, it affects and is affected by what happens around it and what happens internationally. So we should be prepared to see how we can uh, play our role in trying to, to, to reduce any damage that would affect the South because of, I mean South Sudan because of what happens around it or what happens internationally. And this can be played by also uh, all of us understanding what a government is. For us as NDM, the government of national unity should not be continue to be seen as you have ministers from IG, ministers from IO, ministers from SUA, ministers from OPP. No. We are a coalition government and the co our program that brought us into this coalition is the peace agreement. So once I had nominated somebody to the, to the, to the government, now he's no longer a minister of NDM or a minister of SPLM IG or a minister of SPLM IO. He's a minister of the government, uh, what they call it, the revitalized transitional government of national unity. They have one head who is the president. The president is the president of all of us. So he will treat those who are under him in the cabinet as members of the cabinet, not members of their uh, respective uh, political parties. And these are the issues. Of course, there were details, but uh, this summarizes what we were talking about. All right, thank you so much, uh, Doctor. I would love to ask this. NDM is uh, a party on its own, even though it is within the coalition of uh, SOA. I would like to know, are you, you are the chairman of the party, are you uh, going to be the flag bearer of your party during the 2024 general elections? We have not yet uh, arrived at that. First of all, let us make sure that the, the election is coming. 
If you talk to anybody on the street now, they are very skeptical. When people say there will be election at 2024, ah, that, this is not true. It cannot be. This thing has not been done. This thing has not been done. This thing has not been done. So, so our first responsibility now is to create a conducive atmosphere for the election to take place. And once that is guaranteed, we now go to the states in order to meet the people and see how, what do they think. And then we will have a convention. The NDM is a democratic party. There is nothing automatic. So we are going to prepare for a convention. And that convention will decide who is the flag bearer, who is going to contest in which constituency, who is going to contest as governors. This will be a decision of the convention, not me. Okay. Yeah. And then what if the president then uh, ask you uh, humbly to join uh, him or, I mean, or to become his running mate in the elections? What is going to be your stand? Also, this is a question of the cooperation between parties. You cannot ask me if we do not agree on how to cooperate, isn't it? So we can, as I told you, that our mission now is to, to, to talk to the parties, either individually or as a collective who have signed the peace agreement. This is what we are saying. So that could also be part of the, dis the part of discussion could be, do we, can we cooperate as two parties or not? So we cannot, we don't want to cross the bridge before we reach 